Before we begin this little feature on KO Flying Squadron, let me allow the game to set the scene. In the eighth year of the KO era, Japan neared the end of its feudal period. The shogunate, facing an uprising by the anti-government movement, asked France for military help in order to suppress the rebellion. As the French were unwilling to assist, the government turned to the American delegation that was visiting Japan at the time to negotiate the Japan-U.S. peace treaty. You see, America was known as the country which had established a unique scientific technology by combining its native Indian shamanism with alchemy from Europe. It was the utilization of this science which had allowed an infant nation to grow into a military giant within only one century. The American delegation's military entourage with its 20-gun mechanized unit was powerful enough to defeat three major armies of the anti-government forces in less than two weeks. As a result of this military intervention, as well as the peace treaty with America, forced upon the shogunate by these circumstances, Japan moved ever closer to becoming America's protectorate. Unrelated to these historical proceedings... Yep, that had nothing to do with the actual game. Deep in a mountain north of the capital city lived the descendants of the ancient gods, protecting their ancestors' secret treasure. Down through the ages, their numbers had dwindled. Now there remained only an old couple and their granddaughter, Rami. They alone kept watch over the treasure of the ancient gods. wooden ship appeared suddenly from the sky and attacked. the key to the secret treasure. Good work. At last, this key is mine. And I wasn't there to stop them. I hate this. Hyper cutie funny change! Huh? Rami, where have you been? Mm, well, I got hungry. So I went to the mini mart to get something to eat. A burger, but then you were supposed to be guarding the key. You oh, save it in front of our oh, ancestors. Oh, shame, oh, shame, oh, shame on you. Oh, so the scene is set for a wonderfully bonkers anime adventure, but can you tell what sort of game this is going to be from that? Didn't think so. Well, you're in for a surprise because KO Flying Squadron is a shoot 'em up, and you play as a little girl in a bunny outfit riding a dragon. Okay, what the hell is going on? As Rami, you must defeat the rather brilliantly named Dr. Pone, who has stolen your family's giant golden ignition key in an attempt to unlock a secret treasure chest. The plot is obviously a bit on the daft side, but it allows for the charming 90s anime fun to unfold rather nicely, and the story is illustrated thanks to some great cutscenes which feature some fairly decent voice work. The game plays out like your typical shmup, with two types of weapon available and three types of secondary weapon. Waiting and not firing allows you to equip two options for additional firepower. You also have a special attack which is useful for bosses and clearing the area when things get a bit hectic. Unfortunately, KO Flying Squadron is a bit on the easy side and seasoned shmup fans will blast through it without much difficulty. The graphics are a little bit lacking, especially for a Mega CD title. The stages aren't as detailed as other Mega CD shmups like Robo Elest, and even some Mega Drive games manage to pull off more detail than this. But regardless, KO Flying Squadron is a charming little Mega CD offering that is amusing to watch and simple to play. There's not a lot of games in the library that offer this sort of mindless Japanese silliness, and we welcome that. 